Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello friends welcome back to online NPTEL course on structure form and architecture the synergy uh, today we are uh, here with the lecture number 6 uh, that is connecting structure and architecture. So, before we start today's lecture, uh, whatever we have covered so far, uh, based on that we can say that uh, now we have some idea like how structure is integrated with architecture and how structure support uh, the architectural design to bring uh, you know desired solution. Okay? Sometimes uh, it will solve the function, sometimes it will also help uh, the design to make it uh, aesthetically pleasant. Uh, now, in this particular lecture what we will talk about, uh, again something uh, similar to the previous one like uh, the relationship. But earlier in two lectures we have seen that structural relationship with architecture in terms of architectural concept and sometimes in the other lecture we have discussed about uh, structural association uh, which will maintain the quality, visual quality of architecture. But uh, if you can recall the first lecture where we have uh, asked you a question like uh, which will come first the structure or architecture. So, basically there is no such uh, distinct answer because they are acting together like when the design process starts. At the same time you have to also think about structure, so that uh, that will have a proper synergy to bring that into real world. Now sometimes in looking at some building, okay, we will find that okay, this uh, building is uh, something is nothing but structure. Say for example, we have taken this uh, example of uh, Eiffel Tower, so basically that is a structure you can nicely build with uh, you know symmetry and all. So, it is again uh, architecture. So, we cannot put it in a single category, but depending on the dominance of something uh, like either uh, architectural dominance or the form dominance or sometimes structural dominance will classify those things into different category. So, in this lecture, what we will do basically? Uh, will explore the relationship between structure and architecture. And here our focus will be based on the aspiration and intention of the designer. Say for example, as a designer we uh, just design a building where I want to show some art form okay, which will be definitely be supported with the structure, but will not really uh, uh, bother with the structural requirement or structural arrangement uh, to optimize it. So, sometimes we just ignore the structural constraint uh, to make it short or small. So, with the advancement of technology and different you know materials nowadays it is possible to go beyond a traditional orthodox uh, you know structural you know fitted design. Say we moved from frame structure to different cell structure and all. So, there it depends on the designer or architect who will design the building and looking at that concept, quality or overall uh, the form that uh, to be created. So, whether there will be structure will take the predominance thing or sometimes it may not. And sometimes with traditional orthodox beam column structure we may feel bored. So, we go for uh, making some twist or making uh, that structure little bit interesting. So, in this particular lecture we will see those kind of thing. So, the uh, varieties of relationship as already I mentioned that it ranging from complete domination of the architecture where architectural form uh, then all these you know imagination creativity will come into uh, reality, but again we should not really take this word uh, in a wrong manner that when you go for that form creation will ignore the structural requirement because otherwise your design will be unstable. So, there will be adequate structural support to make that form, but looking at the building 
what we will see the dominance of the architecture, not we will see a beam column or something like that. Now, other thing is the pure structure where uh, the structure at itself representing a space. Okay? Already I mentioned like structure as architecture, one example the Eiffel Tower. So, we will see more, more on that also and then sometimes it may be uh, um, like we totally you know uh, ignore the uh, you know structural requirement okay uh, not ignored in terms of uh, the adequate load resistance and all but to give the form so we'll think about the form and then adequately we give the support as and when required so in both the cases a building uh, sometimes you know uh, in order to make it something aesthetic something organic so, as already mentioned that uh, we will go little bit out of the traditional beam column and straight forward structural design. So, on that basis this kind of you know connecting architecture and structure the form or the relationship we can subdivide it in 5 groups. And here you will see that all these 5 groups are having similar what composition that means if you just put word left or right first and last so the group will change so this is very important and uh, that is why we should understand the difference and how we actually put a building uh, in the category after end of this uh, lecture uh, what i'll expect from you all like you will give provide more example to each of these categories, so that we will know that how we actually categorize the building in terms of your architecture and structure relationship. And in order to uh, know all these 5 points and different examples in all the category, uh, we actually uh, will have 2 lectures. This is the part 1, uh, where we will cover uh, 2 of uh, these 5 and then the next lecture will be continuation of that where we will discuss rest 3. So, first two this ornamentation of structure and structure as ornament. Okay, they are little bit confusing, but I am sure that end of this uh, presentation uh, you will able to uh, identify the difference between these two category. And next lecture we will discuss about structure as architecture, structure accepted and this structure ignored. Again I am saying that we should not take this structure ignote means we compromise the structural requirement, it is not. But to create the form in form making we just you know go beyond the traditional structural system and all. So, we will go uh, to you know look into all these examples. So, let us move on with the ornamentation of structure. So, what is ornamentation of structure? Before we go further detail with some other example, we all know this building, right? So, this is Parthenon, Parthenon from Athens, Greece. So, what exactly it is and why it is ornamentation of structure? What is the meaning of ornamentation? Means decoration, more carving, something like that. So, ornament is to making something beautiful in details and structure already we have discussed with different definitions and time to time almost in all uh, lectures so far we have used the definition of the structure. So, it is basically uh, you know parts of a building in, in terms of building structure parts of a building which will resist all applied or imposed load to uh, that building. Okay? So, here it is uh, something like uh, what we see the that uh, whatever the structure remains it is basically some combination of column and beam. Right? So, this your beam and column composition. Okay? So, with that this is very you know simple structural arrangement. So, we just make vertical columns and horizontal beam which will make the structure you know stable. But it is not the simple beam column nowadays we see for the high uh, like your frame structure. 
normally we use some you know rectangular cross section of that sometimes it is circular but what is additional to it if you see the column okay so there is some decoration and at the top portion of the column which is also referred as capital okay it has some decoration okay so we ornament this particular structure so basic structure is there but in order to make it more aesthetically present we put some decoration to it and come up with some good solution so the upcoming slides will have some example under this category so basically what is the fundamental in order to look at a building and say that this is under this category so looking at the building we should able to identify that overall the space creation is dictated by the structural form like structural arrangement rather so structural requirement dictated the form it is simple post and beam uh, like uh, structure uh, that we have that will highlight the visual expression so here looking at this if we just make uh, alternative to that okay so we should not really dare to compete with that but if we want to simplify with a rectangular one so we will have some you know post and then you have some uh, you know uh, beam uh, like uh, your beam structure so post refer to that particular uh, vertical um, columns and beam already you know so this is the arrangement normally and now in order to beautify this so we uh, what they have done they have used this uh, ornamentation so here it is doric order uh, used where you have uh, you know the one property that uh, this particular uh, cross section will vary and at the top it is little bit tempered and the reason is these all are made in some monumental scale so we know the perspective concept right so whenever uh, like we see a tall building so basically that will act uh, as a three point perspective so uh, for a high rise building so what we see from the bottom so it is something like that means it is merging to a points but the point is it is not exactly the same even the rectangular one so this has been created to correct the visual error so the example if you make your structure it will be tampered downwards or something you will have something different so here uh, they have made some correction in that uh, in the history like uh, this has been covered uh, extensively so sometimes we make those correction so here in the doric column what uh, is the features that at the top and near the capital there will be some uh, reduction in that uh, and you have a capital like this now uh, this slide will clear, clear this thing uh, more uh, you know accurately so if you see that this particular you know plan and elevation which is obviously restored after that uh, that was uh, you know restored drawing so here you see all these you know solid circles small circles are the columns and it is arrangement of that a regular interval columns they make this building uh, like that okay and now if you see uh, this particular painting where it is definitely in overall sense it is just arrangement a combination of your post beam or the column beam arrangement but all other decorations special in the column or in the beam those are additional ornament to it which add value to it and it will definitely it makes the structure different from a traditional beam column structure so it has been in practice uh, in the greek architecture apart from uh, this uh, you know parthenon uh, we have uh, many such buildings there where they have used now for the decoration let uh, look into the history so here are different type of columns or posts being used so doric order which uh, was used in parthenon you see the capital how it is uh, being made 
it is very simple staggered and there is uh, some minimal uh, ornamentation to that where we come to ionic. So, the capital will have some involute to create some wave or something like that and when it is a corinthial is more curving and all and overall it will give you uh, you know it uh, with this picture you can see it is something like leaves and other thing give more organic look to the capital of the column. So, with that we create different kind of ornamentation of structure. So, basic structure is again post or column, but now with this carvings and all. So, it is basically some ornamentation which add value to the structure. Uh, so, uh, this is another example where Doric column is used that is Auckland Ware Memorial Museum. You can easily identify uh, this thing. So, these are basically a cylindrical uh, post okay, pillar, but uh, having those uh, cross sections. So, basically it is not exactly the circle. So, instead of that basically uh, uh, if you draw it correctly. So, you will have this kind of cross section and at the top also the capital is designed in a different manner. It is not a pointed uh, beam column that we normally used for the frame structure. Now, this is from uh, example of Doric and now move to the next one. This is Jefferson Memorial in Washington DC. So, here also if you see the entrance uh, where the column is used and this is exactly the same that we have seen for the ionic column. So, at the capital you have some you know some involute or something to make it beautiful. So, this is another example of ornamentation of structure and that is uh, following the ionic column. Move to the next one, this is the New York Stock Exchange. And here if you see the capital again it is pretty similar. Now, I think it is clear if you compare the slide where I have shown different uh, three types of uh, the column style at the capital. So, here it is definitely for the Corinthian okay, where it is giving more organic uh, leaves and other floral kind of you know uh, final outcome. So, this is something really interesting. So, it could be a straight beam column, but to give that classical look to maintain that uh, you know important history or something. So, we can still use it even in the modern building we can and after that you know there are other types that to scan and other you know combination at the later stage after you know in, in the gothic or after that also. So, decoration this particular you know tradition is being practiced to ornament the simple structure. So, uh, here we have seen three examples, uh, three buildings uh, where um, like one followed the Doric, the other one is your Ionic and this is Corinthian. Move on to this building, Porter building in New York. Here also it is something where uh, this beautiful curvature being made. So, this ornamentation it is mixed of many. So, this is a corner portion and even the arches everything is having some extra ornamentation and that is why it make this building little bit different. So, this is giving a terracotta look to the whole structure and again you see the combination it is basically adding some ornament to the basic structure. So, this is another example of uh, this category ornament of structure. A previous lecture also I have shown you where the span is uh, you know covered with this mass room column. So, this is basically the mass room column. So, we know the mass room. Okay. So, with that concept we developed it. So, the slab and the column their connection okay, uh, the simple geometry is connecting at uh, this you know normal or at night angle, uh, right angle, but here it is something where uh, they have a smooth transition. So, it could be a simple cylindrical column normally we can see in flyovers or some of uh, the elevated um, roads, so the metro elevated metro corridor where uh, normally you have the cylindrical or 
like q uh, cuboidal pyres and on top of that you have uh, this particular you know uh, corridor or maybe the flyover but this section can be improved like this where we can ornament it it maintained the proper geometry and all but finally outcome looking at that it is not a simple column slab combination rather than it is some additional uh, you know ornamentation to that uh, combination. So, this is a modern example of that and it is uh, from Mumbai International Airport that already we have discussed in some of the earlier presentations. So, before we move to the this particular uh, next uh, category, so let us clear this out. So, what is the basic concept to put a building in this category that looking at the building will simplify it with this is just uh, like a structure ok, uh, typical beam uh, post or beam column structure and if the space is being created with the arrangement of this beam and columns this is the fundamental ok. Now, addition to that we add some ornament following some style sometimes it may be a combination. So, when we used in earlier case in Greek and Roman architecture there we used uh, different you know uh, Doric, Ionic and later on uh, your Corinthian and then after that you know a mix of that. So, that made the you know uh, very simplistic uh, beam and column to uh, really a piece of ornament. So, that is basically the ornamentation. So, along with some past uh, like historic example, I have also shown uh, some modern examples. So, that it will be clear that nowadays also it is in practice. So, these are very few ornamentation that I have shown, but uh, definitely you can explore more. And uh, I also want you to do that. So, you go through different you know uh, piece of building and then try to analyze that. Uh, what exactly it is that how much ornamentation being done and can we put that building in this. So, then we will discuss in uh, time to come. Now, move to uh, the next topic for this lecture that is structure as ornament. Now, here we have to be very much careful. Earlier it was ornamentation of structure, now structure as ornament. That means, in this category, we will get to know about the buildings where we used basically a structure that act as an ornament to the space creation. Now, how it is different from the last one that ornamentation of structure? In ornamentation of structure, basic is your structural requirement fulfillment and then we add some decoration to it. Here, the basic function is being met with some basic structure and then some structural arrangement put into that building which will act as ornament. So, structure itself act as ornament. So, in this building also if you see this is basically showing all the services there are uh, you know cross bracing there are some you know tube structure. So, this is uh, having this escalator having cantilever. So, everything all together it is making some impression of the structural arrangement. So, here it is something like structure act as ornament to this building which is very simple rectangular building, but this adds value to uh, this. So, here it acts as a ornament. So, here uh, basically what uh, normally we um, when we see any building uh, we will see if the building the structure is given visual prominence ok. So, that may fall into this category. Say for example, this is loyal uh, headquarters building. So, here if you see that this building form and other space are very simple functional rectangular shape, but if you see all these you know duct uh, uh, like it is exposed all this you know vertical services and other thing which is made of steel uh, which act as ornament to that. Otherwise, it could be a simple multi story building rectangular building we will see this beam column, but this uh, you know exposed uh, 
or externally placed all the services at uh, some value to it as ornament. So, as true if you see the inside uh, interior of that building where again uh, it has a prominence. So, all these you know uh, structural bracing is visible, there are you know raptors, mullions, then you have uh, this particular um, you know structural arrangement for the roof. So, it is all together if you look at the building you will first see that all everything wherever you look this is our structure and uh, in order to make it a little bit beautiful if you see if you can uh, search more on this building. So, this is not straight forward there are also some you know uh, you know on ornamentation kind of thing being made so that this can add at, uh, add some value as ornament ok. So, building was very simple but all this structure adds some value as ornament. So, design process is driven by visual rather than technical consideration in this category. So, we have to understand that what exactly. So, technical consideration it could be see if I redesign the building ok, maybe take a similar kind of example. So, in order to just fulfill the functions we can simply make it with uh, your some um, you know slab and then beam column, but here uh, structure should be visually uh, upcoming ok, visually pleasant and on that the emphasis given on that visual rather than technical and that is why if you see all those structural elements they act as uh, like some you know um, uh, to make this building more beautiful. So, these are uh, being placed as a beautification um, you know elements or as ornament. So, with that move to the interior view of the same building here you can see ok. Here all these uh, you know circular column then the beam. So, everything act as ornament and uh, this is another picture where it can be easily seen uh, like all these you know services all the you know pipes are uh, externally placed which adds some value to is as ornament. Move to this one, so that was the title uh, slide also. So, here if you see that uh, the building is again a rectangular one and it is from center uh, Pompidou in Paris uh, a museum. So, here in this case uh, if you look uh, into the overall arrangement. So, basically this is again a vertical service being placed outside and it is being decorated and covered with some transparent material. So, these all portions are supported with some cantilever and other things. So, these are visible, visible uh, it is not for that uh, one cannot hide could not hide it from uh, uh, the you know viewer, but rather uh, the architect wanted uh, this to be exposed and act as uh, like people can easily understand the type of structure being used and it is so beautifully placed in order with some rhythm. So, that it acts uh, the structure itself act as ornament, but the study says instead of making this cantilever all these you know uh, structures. So, if you could have used it with a simple one you can even save um, like more than 25 percent of the structural you know elements. That means, here that was not the constraint. So, make this building um, like something a piece of structural arrangement and add beautifications for each and every corner. So, all these joints are very beautifully placed maintaining some rhythm and all. So, that this building come up as a you know one example under this structure as ornament category. Uh, this is another example uh, that uh, we discussed in um, earlier presentation also uh, under the category of rip structure, but here also if you see this is the exterior and uh, these two are from interior. So, here if you uh, see the detail is nothing but the structural arrangement and here it is all exposed and very beautifully done. Say for example, if you see this you know inside. So, the you know regular uh, spacing of this vertical member and then close spacing of this horizontal members that create some 
kind of you know interesting features to the uh, interior and along with these ribs and other thing along with the glass and other composition. So, basically that add some value to this spherical um, you know architecture. So, here if you see uh, that uh, it could be designed with some other technique with some you know sales structure or something, but here it is basically designed in that category and if you look into this, so structure here being used and very predominant. So, dominance of structure is there and act as ornament so that it adds some value. So, it could be very straight way design or something, but here in order to make it uh, aesthetically pleasant, so some of the neat finishes and uh, you know the combination of different structure being made. So, this is very important to know um, this kind of uh, you know relationship where we can connect uh, the structure to the building as ornament. So, connecting uh, structure with the architecture this is the second category. So, now we come to the you know end of this uh, particular presentation. So, here we have discussed about ornamentation of structure and structure as ornament. Though both are uh, having similar words just here and there the combination. Uh, but definitely we uh, got to know some of the thing we can distinguish. So, again to quick recap, so the first category ornamentation of structure and the other is structure as ornament. So, what exactly? So, or, uh, ornamentation of structure means structure is the basis that dictate everything. So, a typical uh, say uh, I just try to make uh, one building. So, these are beam and these dots are like your columns and we make the elevation that is the beam and then you know you have this structure maybe a shelter or something. But this is very simple structure driven there is nothing to play with some other form and all. But now instead of this I just uh, replace this arrangement with the beam is there and then we just ornament it with some you know different structural element. Okay. I just, just give some other look or maybe we just decorate like uh, the other columns and other things. So, give a classical look to it. So, depending on the need we can do it. So, basic fundamental is the structural dictation to the form and we ornament it with some uh, you know decoration. Here it is something that your structure is being uh, supported with something and very easy form uh, may go, but here the use of structure is very predominance and perfect execution of all the structural element together add some value to the um, building. So, here the structure itself act as ornament and we have seen two buildings one is the museum then other one uh, that you know spherical one with the reef structure that we have seen. So, these all are uh, example under this structure as ornament and that the Lloyd uh, headquarter also we have seen the services which normally you know in the building we just hide it with the duct and all, but here it was shown and with the structure like steel application of steel and other metals. So, that act as a structure uh, itself as ornament to the building. So, then uh, uh, we will discuss uh, this three structure as architecture accepted and ignored in the next lecture. And these are the reading materials I keep on updating it uh, whenever I add some you know new uh, source to it. And here also some of the informations are taken from the book uh, you know structure and architecture. So, you can also refer to those books and uh, also go through those links that being provided under each of this picture I have taken so that you can go uh, to get more information about that. And um, as already mentioned, we will uh, be discussing the rest three category in part two 
and um, like for this time being um, like uh, bye bye take care thank you